Right, I've got something a little bit different for you guys today. Instead of a boring old tutorial on Excel or SQL Server, I'm showing off a silly little game that I've made in Excel VBA. It's essentially a blatant ripoff of Flappy Bird, which you might have played on the iPad or something this year. Uh, my version is called Flappy Owl, mainly because I didn't want to get sued. And here it is. I've given it a quick double click. It runs in Microsoft Excel. And this is Excel version 2013, although it runs in Excel 2010 as well. It also runs in Excel 2007, although on my machine the performance is absolutely dreadful. I'm not quite sure why. You can't run it in Excel 2003 or earlier, I'm afraid, because I've used way too many columns for the, uh, for the spreadsheet. So, yeah, this is the main menu. This is what it looks like. There's nothing special about it in graphical terms. Well, you can see that just by looking at it, I suppose. And what I meant was there's, um, there's no special objects on the page. This is all just differently coloured Excel cells. Um, there are a couple of basic ActiveX command buttons that you can click on to do things like launch the game and quit from it and change basic game options. So, for instance, I can choose to play sounds when the game runs or not and choose to show or hide the mouse. Um, these options work most of the time. Um, there's a little bit of work that I need to do to make these work more reliably. Um, but yeah, here it is. So it's, it's like a Flappy Bird um, clone. So you press up to flap up and dive to dive down. I've got two different game, game modes currently, so I've got a high res and a low res mode. I use high res in the loosest possible sense of the term. Um, don't come in expecting any full HD resolutions or anti-aliasing or anisotropic filtering or anything like that. Um, I'm going to launch the game in high res mode just so that you can see what it looks like. And here it is. So yeah, it's not exactly beautiful. Um, but the miraculous thing for me was the fact that it worked in the first place. Um, this is all just differently coloured Excel cells. There are no special graphics stored on this worksheet at all. Um, I kind of suck a bit of the game. I think my high score is about 12. Um, I'm not currently storing the high scores. So that's uh, something to add in for later versions. So there's a few problems obviously that I need to solve with this. There's lots of changes that I need to make. This horrible flickering as the columns move across, that definitely needs to get sorted out and I haven't found a solution to that yet. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the high res mode. I'll just quit to the menu by pressing N on the keyboard and show you the low res mode. Sorry if you didn't like the high res mode, you're not going to like the low res mode very much at all. Um, it looks somewhat worse. So it uses about half the number of cells that the high res mode does. Um, because of that it runs a lot quicker, you can see. Hopefully it's a lot smoother. Although it's still got that horrible flickering, um, but obviously it looks a lot worse. Um, Performance-wise, I'm not running this on particularly um, complex hardware or, or high-spec hardware. Just to quickly show you maybe what my um, hardware looks like. Da -da -da -da, so there we go. Uh, it's a fairly modest laptop, which I'd be interested to hear if anybody downloads the game what sort of performance you guys get out of your own hardware. This one clearly isn't that high spec machine, um, but yeah, I'd be interested to hear about what your own experience is. Okay, so that's the game. The reason I started doing this, by the way, um, is because of all the stuff that happened around the original Flappy Bird. I don't know if you read or heard anything about it, but there was a lot of controversy over the game when it started doing really well. There was talk about the guy being sued by Nintendo for stealing graphics and all sorts of weird things going on in the background. Um, so the bunch of indie developers kind of got together then and, and in support of the guy who made the game developed this Flappy Jam where they encouraged people to make um, versions of the game sort of inspired by the original game so anything at all you could make and then submit your game to this Flappy Jam and they got about 800 submissions altogether in the end um, they've got a list that you can still see and download um, rated in different different ways my favourite one by far was the one by Terry Kavanagh, Maverick Bird, which is just, like all Terry Kavanagh games, brutally hard and a little bit trippy as well. It's well worth a play. If you've got a spare five minutes, give it a go. It's pretty awesome. Um, so I kind of read about this sort of after the fact. Um, I, I read about it after the, the submission dated, and it, not that I would have submitted my horrible looking Excel spreadsheet anyway, um, but I read about this afterwards and I thought, well, that'd be a pretty cool idea. I wonder if I can make that work in Excel. So I kind of teach Excel for a living, and I thought, well, I wonder if I can torture Excel enough to make it do something that it was never intended to do. So this little game is uh, what I came up with. So I'm going to put a download link in the description at the bottom of the video. You're welcome to download it and have a bit of a play if you like. You can also, if you wanted to, fiddle around in the background as well. There's nothing locked down. There's no password protection or anything on this workbook. So there's a bunch of hidden worksheets which you can happily unhide yourself, like so. 
and for instance you could see the sprites sheet and look at my <laughs> beautiful artwork if you think you can improve on that and let's face it who couldn't um, you're welcome to change the graphics um, so you can change the way the game looks um, there's a bunch of other worksheets in there as well you can also go to the developer tab in the ribbon and choose visual basic to launch the VB editor and there you can see all the code that I've written as well. So you're welcome to play around with the way that I've written the code, um, maybe change the uh, the files used for the sound effects. I've used basic Windows um, Windows theme sound effects, like the recycle sound effect for the flap sound and the, uh, the critical stop for the crash sounds. You can change those, make your own sound effects if you wanted to. You could look at the code I've written, like for the class modules and the standard modules, look at some of the, um, the Windows API functions that I've referenced. So some quite nice, more advanced ideas um, that I've used, or advanced techniques that I've used in, in developing this. I kind of got to thinking at that point that this might be a really good way to teach about some of those more advanced techniques and how they work in Excel VBA. So I've created video series and written tutorials about how to use Excel VBA, but from more of a slightly <laughs> tedious business perspective, um, I thought this would be a nice way to teach about some of the more advanced features like class modules and so on. So I'm in the middle of writing a tutorial series, um, which you can see from the YSR website, and you can look at the various different um, uh, parts of that just by clicking the links. There'll be downloads um, available for each of the different parts so you can see how the, the code is built up from the ground from a completely brand new blank workbook. We go all the way through to the final game. I'm kind of still in the middle of writing these parts by the way. So I've got up to part seven already. I'm, I'm in the middle of writing part eight and there's a few more still to come. But that's in progress. I'll probably end up making a video series as well when I get time um, to do this. But yeah, as I say, you're welcome to download the game yourself, and you can have a play around with the code. Um, there's a bunch of, well, there will be a bunch of different versions. I've, I'm stuck at version number one at the moment, but you're welcome to download that and have a play around with it. Um, so look at the code, have a fiddle around, see how it works, maybe change a few things if you don't like the way the game works. Update the graphics, clearly, because it looks fairly hideous at the moment. Um, and basically, yeah, do pretty much whatever you want with it, except for sell it and claim that you made it yourself. So, that's the game. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you want to give it a quick download, just use the link at the bottom of the, uh, the page. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you make any improvements to the game. Thanks a lot.